the evil rock crusher. All right, internet friends, this thing is too damn loud. I'm gonna see if I can shut this down so we can all speak a little bit more intimately. This is all a little bit better. Welcome everybody to Let's Drink the Dead Space 2. Uh, I am joined this time uh, by Tim and Rachel. Hello. Whose art you may recognize from the beginning of the episode. Yay. Say hello everyone. Hi. Hello. Hi. Woo! Alright, all right. we had last left Isaac Clark at uh, this god awful rock crushing thing that like bales rocks it looks like. Uh, but aside from that, I have no idea where we're going. No power notes to the bench is silly. Onward! Onward! I was working at one point... Uh, I don't remember this guy. Uh, how do I shot web? Okay, that worked. Ah! Do you remember those guys? <laughs> they seem to remember <laughs> you and want to give you a big hug. <laughs> ah. Oops. <laughs> Time to make giblets. No, I have not seen you play this game yet, and wow, how it's a bit gooey. <laughs> I like that. Just wait until right. small children are involved. Wait, wait, what's that? Um, it's a guy. Oh, I remember this guy. He was he was one of the guys who um killed himself. Yeah, he killed himself because he got bit, but he gave you a tutorial for, like, how to shoot them in the head. Or no, he gave you a tutorial for picking these things up and sticking them to the walls. Because that's a new feature in this game over Dead Space, uh, Dead Space 1, and it's, it's wicked fun. Alright, so... If your objects have this mysterious ability to disappear when they leave the room that they were originally in. Like that. Like like that. That just happened. Entering zero gravity. Yay! Zero gravity flying around. Yeah, so I think like, this is, is this still a good part of the game? Because I remember loving it. Uh, it this is interesting. You actually get to, to fly. Oh. oh. Instead oh. of just jumping off like you used to in Dead Space 1. So that's actually pretty cool. This seems a little bit more convenient. So maybe I can do that bit. So I was trying to come up with a new drink for the Ripper, or at very least just a new drink for the game, and then I gave up because I decided that I wanted to drink a Dark and Stormy. <laughs> I'm going to claim that it works because it's October, and October is spooky and dark and ooh, and this game is always doing the, you know. It started out on a haunted spaceship, and now we're in, like, a haunted mining thing. And I want this for Christmas, and I want... Oh. Mommy says I have too many toys. I think you need a new suit of armor to give you access to more toys. Yeah! Woo! Wait a minute, I'm flying into the light. This seems like a poor decision. And the light's rejecting me. You don't care. <laughs> well, I can go over here. Undo, undo. <laughs> Press E to not die! 
Yeah, there was no dying risk there. I just pressed E to open the door. Pressed E to shit bricks. See, see, here we go. It's dark and and stormy, right? Yes. It's hey. dark and stormy. It fits. You know what? I'm the host. I drink what I want. That's fair. <laughs> I, I had a an idea for a dark and stormy Dead Space style. Oh, yeah? And I would like to share it. This is the one that I mentioned before. Well, you tell the internet. We'll okay. put up a title card. Um, well, yes, it is dark, and yes, it is stormy, but the storms out there are not green. Oh. Now you got asteroid storms instead, so you could get some rock candy, throw them into your soda, like your ginger soda, along with your dark rum, and BAM! Dark and stormy in dead space. That could be fun, it'd be like frothy. It'd be frothy, it'd be super sweet, like way too sweet, so that's... Works. Yeah, I like it. It would work. Make, make it for your girlfriend. <laughs> I think it's funny that the industrial elevator has no outlets, and the, like, pedestrian elevator has, like, 16 outlets. It's like, surely maintenance people will never need to charge anything. Their tools power on the charge of awesomeness. They don't pedestrian. need outlets. <laughs> pedestrian elevators need all those outlets for, uh... Their iPods. Their iPods. Your space iPods? Their space iPods. Your spy pods? Spy pods? Hey, I want a spy pod. I don't trust this guy. He's you have a wiggly limb. limb. Just pick up one of the candles on the ground with your pieces. I'm gonna pour hot wax into your eye, bitch. Kinky? Can't, you cannot see me! Aww. No. Squiggles! Ha! I Good was right squiggles. not to trust that thing. Ooh, it's story time. Sally? Marion, I'm just going to leave this log here for you. Oh. Oh, she's creepy. What would a, a creepy... I only have one girl voice. The rebirth. <laughs> Marion. Fuck. <laughs> 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 that doesn't work. That's like an old prostitute junkie. <laughs> what? 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 I was gonna say smoker grandma, but <laughs> prostitute junkie. Old works? prostitute junkie smoker grandma. Yeah. Why not both? A woman like that would need a motorcycle in space. <laughs> Hang on, dude. Five more minutes. Are you trying to stick the body in the toilet and flush it? Light a match! Eh, I don't know what's coming through the toilet, but I'm gonna block it. <laughs> hey. Isaac has plenty of poop in his pants. Scoop it out. I don't trust this thing. Maybe if I give it a little head. Oh! oh wait, I didn't mind the head. Wow, that was an interesting death scream from a squid. Yeah, how many things did I throw at this guy and he just didn't give a crap? So what's with the, like, really comforting music? I don't know. I mean, we got creepy sound effects of those people whispering, but underneath that is like this nice, soft music that you hear from that pedal game. Maybe they're actually playing it in the apartments. Everything's all right. You're not on a haunted spaceship. 
There's a song about a party choo-choo train or something, but I can't remember it. There you go. Cuddle with your train. Fit in really well. Oh, that's why. I was going from there. Wow, he actually was intelligent for one second. <laughs> You're not it's real. Like D &D. It's like D&D. He succeeded his role to disbelieve. I don't want the robot. I want the chew radio. <laughs> oh no, that's a backpack. Why that was a radio? Oh. <laughs> I would totally rock Backpack, it. radio, everything looks the same. It's space. <laughs> That's an interesting drawing. Yeah, I wonder if it's like a dev team drawing or something. Does it say, I am game, I am gone, me three, I'm... Mass Effect 3? Dun dun dun. Maybe you found yourself an Easter egg. That'd be cool. Dana. Soldiers have found me. They're tracking me in some sort of gunship. You're almost here. They're watching me hold a giant backpack in the sky. And they're not firing. <laughs> I have a hostage. Where'd the backpack go? <laughs> Yet again, you <laughs> dropped it in a different room and it disappeared. Phantom backpack. It just vanished. Dead space no. logic is best logic. <laughs> Phantom backpack. We should play Borderlands 2 next. Like next Ooh. month. Yeah. You should That'd still play. You should play Anna. We should try Anna again. Oh God! I watched you play Anna for like two hours, and that was enough Anna for one lifetime. Oh. <laughs> Not because it was scary, but because it just made no fucking sense. Yeah, no. <laughs> well, you didn't even see the best puzzle. There was one where you had to like these, these, these tree roots are growing out of the wall, and you have to put fertilizer on them so they turn green. No smoking in space. <coughs> See, yeah, you put fertilizer on them so they turn green, and then you can pull them out of the wall now that they're green and, and strong and alive. And then you put what? them in these pedestal things in the wall, and then you sprinkle them with ashes, and then you light them on fire. What? Yep. Yeah. Yep. So, if Dead Space logic is best logic, Analogic is platypus. <laughs> yes, Anna is platypus logic. <laughs> Analogic is... Spork logic. <laughs> Let's just save. I've only been at this like 10 minutes. Analogic is Scientology logic. Well, that would make sense since uh, Unitology is, is pretty thinly veiled reference to Scientology. About as thinly as the name. No, no, no! Get away, you flapping black what skin! Is, what, what is that thing trying to reanimate? I sh he has no head. Doesn't need a head. Apparently. Oh, I hate those things. What is that? Give me all, right, all your all right, money. Hear me out. I think she was interrupted in orgy. A very romantic orgy. Look at this. That's why they're all pissing coming at you. Come on, dude. Girl code. Just because there's candles? Yeah, look at how nice it is.
Oh, oh come on, reload! <laughs> You know, there might be some merit to that orgy thing, because uh, as soon as that thing starts transforming them, the corpses into necromorphs, they instantly become totally naked. Yeah. But, I mean, look how sweet this is. Spontaneous movie. nudity! It's nice. Great view. It's a bit green. I don't know. Nudity no, makes me stronger it's on this one. It's there, but in here it's nice and red. It's pretty. I wouldn't be surprised if you found rose petals somewhere. What does this look like? Amnesia the Dark Descent? <laughs> <laughs> hey, cool. It's a model of Ishimaru. Oh, cute. Wait. So you're on the station. Where's the Ishimaru? It blew Titan up. Station. Alright, it's gone? Yeah, it blew up at the end of the last game. Oh, okay. Like, Isaac with scorched earth on that thing. He took out the Ishimaru and the entire planet, the hive mine. Really? I don't want to listen to any of this. No sermons today. It's supposed to be a modern, like, space religion, right? Why are there monks everywhere? Never went out of fashion? Seriously. Oh, man. Okay, now they're shooting. Simon, he found you! Into the church, hurry! How dare you go into a church? Open fire! This is a church? The Church of Uni Scientology. Church Unitology. Why here? Unitology. It's one of the few places on Titan Station that Titan can't move. Same difference. Separation of church and state. <laughs> no, Dana, we shouldn't be in here. This is the last place we want to be right Isaac, now. Isaac! My brother died trying to rescue you. This is I don't care, home. I agree with Isaac. This will work. I'm in a safe room at the top of the church. Meet me there, okay? Oh, oh, I see what's going on, lady. I see. You stay in the safe room, I'll go do the heavy lifting. There's a gender joke in there. Hey, in the <laughs> Harry Potter game, both Ron and Hermione make you shit. <laughs> no, seriously, play that game. It's all like, I'm gonna go try to open this door while you distract the orc. Have fun! <gasps> Running out your rage. There that go. game okay. is easy, but good lord. I was actually trying to figure out how to reload. So this is this is on a space station. Yep. This don't know where like, they got the building permits. Thirty foot high ceiling is on a space station. Well, this smoking lounge that's on a space station. <sighs> It's a space station, space club, like a country club. Except in space. All right, so if knocking the heads off these guys can't save them from reanimating, yeah. maybe if I just pound their feet off. I think you have to pound both off. I think it's getting progressively louder and angrier every stomp. <laughs> Stress issues. Well, wouldn't you be? It's like this shit again. Really? More people that drank the Kool Aid? Okay. This is library. Reload. Oh god, not another one. Ah! 
Percy, do not die! I'm working on it. Oh, ah. That's how you do it, Isaac. You almost got killed. By a black skin. Are they all dead now? I think so. All the ones that are wearing, like, costumes, they're like the... Might be able lines. to pick up those ripper blades if you use a health pack. Hear me. Because I could use a health pack. Just trying to find a save point, Jesus. I like that the, um... The locator beacon thing points you at different things now. Yep. Multi-purpose. Nope. Maybe. It's not guaranteed. You could be wrong. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure they don't want to turn everybody into space zombies, just, like, stone. Or... dirty communists. <laughs> Power pack from the currently on indoctrination station. Okay, there we go. Shoot the shoot the window! Shoot the window! Shoot the window! But it's cold out there. Oh, then they'll oh, all go out there. Let's work on your half. Let me in. Man, she is getting angry now that she is angry now that we told her off in that nursery. Yeah. She's she's doing a good job of being really creepy. All right, I think I'm gonna take advantage of the save station, take a quick break, and uh, then uh, end the episode here. Then come back next with uh, with some more. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. <laughs>